Hello, this is a short form from Taiwan. I'm Peter Gao. Now I want to talk about the uh, pit fit. The customer need a uh, uh, position in PPM. This is our data. The data from our customer. This is X. Uh, it's uh, A, X, and this is Y. It's amplitude. Okay. The data contains more than 100. Total is 135. And you can see the X range is wide range. And our customer need a PPM position. For display is a little bit difficult. Now I begin to show. First we enter the data. The first one is X, then is Y. Okay. They have a two pick. And you can see the range for X. We can use editor. You can modify the data. Use the art pick pick editor. You also another ASCII editor. Actually I prefer this method. It's more intuitive. First, we want to check the data. We want to find a, if they have any hidden peak. We use the second order directive. We can see they have two major peaks and maybe have a peak hidden in the middle. Use AI expert more easily to find a hidden peak. This may be a pick, but maybe not. And then we use the four, fourth order, and you can easily find they have five pick, a positive pick, but this may be on, may be a pick or not. It de depend on your experience. And, and the other method to check is the convolution method. Okay. In this in this method, actually, we, we can find the obvious peak. After the check, we use the first one, the residual method. As you can see, we can modify the threshold. If the very low threshold, we can find a lot of peak, but this is our desire. So we must higher the threshold. Now it's ten percent. You can see the zero nine. It's a straight on nine. And now we did a lot of small peak, but actually, actually still we not satisfied. So we still upper the straight hole. Now it's fifteen percent. Now still have. Four pick. If our pick above three pick, now it's twenty percent. Now just left only two pick. 
Okay, this is our desire. Twenty three percent we can find a three peak. And now we begin to do the tune, fine tune. Use the numerical update. Adjust. And adjust. Okay. We can find uh, the peak. The uh, green peak is very small. Okay. And we can see the R square is 0 0.996. It's quite high. And we export the result. We can see the uh, each tail. This is a numerical for pre description R square and each parameter and each center. But we want to see the fine parameter. The data just show the this is a residual. Okay, we can use the export. Export is the ASCII format. We can see the X star and X end and X increment. The output range may be smaller than the origin because we just want these two, three pick and press OK. OK, we save it. And this is the numerical results. And we can also enter into Excel and convert into Excel more easily to handling. As you can see, the original data. And you can see a generator X is in C column. And they have three peak. And this E is first peak. Okay. And we can see the results. Import the results Excel file. We use mask for generator X, not original X. And first peak. This is the first peak. Now to see the second peak. This is the second peak. And third peak. And I can we can show in ASCII format because we want to see the peak so we can find uh, the highest value in Y and then that X is uh, our desired value here is the highest peak Value. So we can find the uh, value in PPM by this method. And thanks for your attention. And bye bye. Quan Jie Ke Jin, Xie Xie Ning, Zai Jian.